All right, let's start with the big story that we are tracking this morning on Vion, where Afghanistan's national security advisor, Hamdullah Muhib, is in New Delhi to hold talks with his Indian counterpart, Ajit Doel. The Muhib will hold talks with Doel over the security situation that is presently unfolding in Afghanistan and also on ways to enhance cooperation between the two nations. Now, India is also considering supplying additional military hardware to Afghanistan to help it combat terrorists. Now, the Afghan army officers undergo training in India on a regular basis, and India had also earlier supplied the Afghan armed forces with no less than four Russian-made helicopters. Now, the visit comes at a crucial time when the Trump administration has announced the drawing down of their own troops from Afghanistan. Last month, U.S. President Donald Trump had announced that at least half of the 14,000 American troops, that is almost over 7,000 American troops, will return home soon, even as the 17-year-old war continues to destabilize the country and the region. Now, Afghan NSA's visit comes a day after U.S. President Donald Trump also had mocked the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi for having funded a library in Afghanistan, which Donald Trump said was actually of no use as no one was using it. Now, India has, of course, responded by saying that development mental help is, of course, critical in restoring normalcy in a country that is ravaged by war. Now, India has also emphasized that it does not send its armed forces abroad except under specific mandate of the United Nations peacekeeping operations. All right, now for more on this, we are joined in by my colleague Sidhan Sibyl, who is joining us from New Delhi. Good morning to Sidhan. Now, this, this is a crucial visit by the Afghan NSA to India. What is on the agenda? Well, on the agenda, a lot of things, especially the rapidly evolving situation in Afghanistan. The Afghan NSA is on a three-day India visit, and he's the first uh, uh, high-profile visitor, foreign visitor to visit uh, New Delhi, and first high-profile Afghan to visit uh, New Delhi. Remember, next week, uh, the special envoy of United States, uh, uh, Khaled uh, Zalme, will be visiting uh, India, and of course, he will be uh, meeting the top uh, officials here. But uh, the NSA-level talks uh, have uh, been uh, started or initiated from India, Tied India's NSA Dawal invited the Afghan NSA, and this comes as you have already mentioned a day after the US president mocked the Indian Prime Minister and India's development aid to Afghanistan. But remember, we have a very unpredictable man in the White House who has a tendency of saying anything. Now, the reports have also said that he might have confused the library with the Afghan parliament, which was, of course, built with India's help. But if you look at the Afghan situation, it's rapidly evolving. Lonely last week, uh, I, I spoke to some of the sources in MEA who said we are watching the situation which is developing in Afghanistan. We have seen all the stakeholders talking with each other, even talking to Taliban. Uh, the uh, the neighborhood, uh, if you look at Afghanistan neighborhood, whether it's Pakistan, Iran, or Russia, they are all talking to Taliban, including uh, United States talking to Taliban. Something uh, that, of course, uh, uh, the Afghan government is not liking, especially with the Americans talking to uh, Taliban. But they are keen to engage with India because if you look at India's track record, especially after fall of Taliban in 2001, uh, it's been 17 years. India has been providing infrastructure development aid, right. but India has made it clear that India will not put boots on the ground uh, it will only put boots on the ground under right. a union mandate absolutely indeed now now there is a bit of a power vacuum which would come about with the drawing down of u.s troops in afghanistan now with that being the case what sort of help is afghanistan looking from india Well, in, uh, Afghanistan is largely looking uh, uh, India towards not only development aid but uh, also the partner partner against Pakistan because uh, we know both Kabul and New Delhi have voiced concerns regarding terror emanating from Pakistan. But Pakistan, we we know, is not changing its track. Pakistan, in a sense, uh, is trying to destabilize Afghanistan. The Afghan government has many times said Pakistan to restrain the terror groups uh, in its own territory. But Pakistan is not changing its track. Something uh, the collapse. Collaboration is something that uh, Kabul is looking towards New Delhi, but other than that, uh, that uh, Kabul is also looking for for aid, for development, for infrastructure partnership, which of course is taking place. Remember, it's just not only infrastructure, it's capacity building. India provides training to so many Afghans. India is providing humanitarian aid uh, to Afghanistan. And the biggest, of course, is the connectivity. There are two connectivity projects. One, of course, is the Afghanistan-India air corridor, uh, which has been expanded to cities like Mumbai. And right. another is the Chabar port, which, of course, 
must provide India the connectivity to Afghanistan and rest of Central Asia because we know Pakistan is blocking the uh, uh, land route which connects right. Afghanistan and India. Absolutely. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Sidan Sibyl, for joining us.